So I'd like to introduce uh, CASPER. Uh, it's a robot that we built uh, here at University of Hertfordshire. It's, as you can see, a child-sized uh, humanoid robot that has um, a number of different expressions. So it is clearly not exactly human-like. You know, it looks like a robot uh, the moment that you look at it. Uh, and people recognize that, but it has certain uh, human-like expressions, like expressions in the face, eyelid, uh, it can move the neck in various ways, and the arms in order to produce different gestures. Now, we use this uh, robot in our work on robot companions, but uh, in particular in our work on children with autism, where we investigate uh, whether robots can be a therapeutic or educational tool uh, for children with autism. We try to develop uh, uh, and to carry out research towards the development of robots that can do something useful, mm -hmm. that can help you in your home, like for example when you uh, have friends um, over and you like to uh, serve them some, some tea or some biscuits and it's too much for you to carry alone, then you could ask your robot to help you with that task. We investigate how the robot's mind can migrate, so can travel between different robot embodiments. What you can see here are different types of robot embodiments. A tall, more mechanically looking uh, robot over here. We have a smaller, mechanically looking robot that has a, has a gripper, has an arm. And we have a more humanoid uh, uh, robot over here. In our social mediator scenario within Lyric, we use uh, a, a, another robot, uh, or two of these robots, which are uh, the eyeball robots, more dog-like looking robots. So the idea is that um, you communicate um, via Skype with uh, a family member or a friend and you play together a computer game like you can see here, a simple maze. But the idea is to engage the user more in the interaction and um, ask them to focus on the more the collaborative aspects rather than the competitive aspects of the game. We are not particularly interested in developing any type of emotional bonding between people and the robots. What we do is to say our robots, our companions, they need to have a certain functionality, they need to have certain tasks, certain jobs. And then the second aspect is that they need to do these tasks in a way that is acceptable to people, that people like, that people like to get in, involved in, that is engaging people in the interaction.